Hey, Chris Lipe here, black or white, off of Dangerous. More Michael Jackson at your request. We have the multitracks, or maybe better described as lots of specific stems. And there's lots of amazing detail to dive into. I never realized the, the different ways the guitars were tracked. And there's some really interesting things going on with his vocals that I haven't heard before and that I haven't heard coming from Michael's mouth. Ow! Okay. <sighs> what? What? I'm able to do stuff like this on this channel because it's an education channel. I teach people how to sing. And if you have any interest at all in learning how to sing, you should click the link below in the video description and join my free course. And what this also means is that I get to use these tracks because I'm teaching through them how to take what other vocalists do, use them as inspiration, and create new opportunities for our own voices. Now, this means that I can't play whole portions of the song. I can't even play parts of the song for long periods of time. I have to stop frequently and add educational value to what I'm doing. So after watching this video, go listen to the whole song, black or white, in its entirety, and you'll gain an even better appreciation for the art, the performances. Let's dive in. As has become tradition, let's start with a couple interesting instrumental things, and then we'll get into the vocals. Interesting envelope on that kick. I love building the, the, the percussion sounds. Now this bass, you're gonna see some interesting things happen with Michael's voice. I didn't know it was there. This is interesting. Like adding this stuff, layering those stems together. This sounds so cool. Reverse sound. The acoustic accents are interesting too. Love it. Stuff you, you sense. Some cool like double kick sounds in there. I thought this was interesting too. The, the we have these little like scratches on the guitar. I would have never thought those would be on their own track. Isn't that interesting? So cool. Wonderful production choices and ideas. Here's what really got me though. Never would have really internalized this. There are two different performances of the main guitar hook. And then this. You know, on some level, I always knew that the scratchy rhythm stuff was a different sound, but it's really interesting and neat to hear them, to hear the two performances actually pulled apart because I, I didn't think of it that way. I haven't. Listen to them together. can hear a little bit of bass bleed. I hope you're listening in headphones. You can hear a little bass bleed over on one side, but it's still not complete. Listen to this. Here's this part right here. Super dry. It's a funky tone, a funky clean tone. Sounds definitely very direct to me. Listen to them together. Yeah. 
Yes. Those are cool. <laughs> DJ stuff. Such a simple chord progression, such a simple song, but what they do with it from an arranging perspective is just mint. It's just so cool. Taking that simple one, four, five kind of sound out completely into a different direction and funky. Oh, it's so neat. Interesting. Little stem there. And then they have this string stem, which. Yeah! Precision. <laughs> it's fun to hear this all separate and then this build up here and then hearing this heavy guitar in isolation is pretty awesome shout out to fellow youtuber tim pierce for this guitar part what an amazing opportunity Oh, all right, are you ready for the vocals? Right off, there is this amazing section where, I mean, I thought it was just, it was part of something else in the mix, but it's Michael's voice and it's super low. And given most of the interviews out there where he's intentionally trying to keep his voice high, and of course the way he sings, yeah, there are interviews out there where he's, he's a little lower, but I have not heard this kind of resonance out of Michael's voice. Listen to this. Ow! Okay. Ooh. What? What? Ow! Ooh. Oh. Oh. I mean, that's low. Low. If I were gonna pitch that. Lower than a... Yeah. <laughs> what it shows you is that with the right training, with the right mentality, really, the right mentality is more than anything. Your voice is capable of all sorts of things that your natural speech inclinations don't necessarily suggest. And you can hear that in lots of vocalists. I've done lots of videos on that. But this right here is such a departure from what I would have thought. Yeah, let's keep going. I took my baby going to Saturday day. But as I go with you, you swear one and the same. Now I believe in miracles and a miracle is happening tonight. I think it's interesting right here. Listen to this owl here. Ow! There's a lot of... Room noise, room echo in that owl. Ow! And one of the things about this performance that I'm going to continue to point out is that Michael is engaged so much in his experience of his own voice and the experience of performing in the studio. And of course you can see this when he does it live. But this is a huge tip for us as vocalists and as, as performers, as people who want to get better at singing, experience first. Get lost in the moments of your voice making sound. You're going to hear him do all sorts of things that suggest this, that he's just in his own world as he's creating with his voice. He's not thinking about, can I hit that note? Can I do this? Or I better get this right. I better... He's not thinking about the technical aspects. He's lost. <laughs> but if you're thinking about my oh, yeah. baby, it don't matter if you're black or white. This is what I'm talking about. Oh! They print my... Yes, it, listen to the way he breathes here. Gonna happen tonight. 
But if you're thinking about... When's the last time you did that as a vocalist? Taking cues from how he sort of is in this resting state in a rhythmic trance as he's delivering his vocal lines. It's obvious when you hear Michael do this that it helps his vocal performances. How could it help yours? How could it help other vocalists if they were more rhythmically minded? But rhythm isn't even all of it. It's this idea that the whole body is engaged musically with what you would normally think of as just being vocalization. It manifests itself in vocal rhythmic attributes. But he's even sitting there like, or sitting, standing on his little platform, just clapping and the mic is picking it up. There's this this holistic instrumental approach to Michael's singing. And I love that we get to hear it in this way because that's the only way you really, really hear it. You see it when you watch him perform, but you get to hear it like this. Gonna step in tonight. <laughs> but if you're thinking about my baby, it don't matter if you're black or white. Right on cue. I can't help but listen and like rhythmically breathe. They print my message in the Saturday sun. I had to tell them I ain't second to none. And I told about equality and it's true either you're wrong or you're right. Okay, now listen to the in-betweens here again. They print my message in the Saturday sun. It's an interesting effect there. It almost sounds like two tracks were layered on on top of each other not two performances but two two similar or two of the same file and there's a bit of comb filtering or something going on they print my message in the saturday sun i had to tell him i ain't second to none but listen to the arc of his performance they print my message in the saturday sun those are the notes but <laughs> What he's doing here, number one, he's able to be incredibly agile with his voice. What he's doing here, though, is he's arcing what he's what he's singing. They print my message in. They print my message in the Saturday sun. He's not going for one level of intensity. I realize what I did is still nowhere close to what Michael does, but that approach and that experience of 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 doing that, I'm not just shouting something and then getting quieter. I'm adding all sorts of compression. I'm approaching my vocal break. Lots of different techniques are going on here. He's not really thinking about that because he's practiced enough that he doesn't have to. But this idea of of one line having so many different characteristics in it. I print my message in the Saturday sun. Like That's what the way your average karaoke bar guy would sing it because he's not thinking through all the little nuances that make Michael's performance Michael's. I print my, I, I praise God if we're just speaking. I print my message in the Saturday sun. I print my message in the Saturday sun. There's this angst. I print my message in the Saturday sun. Don't go for sounding as good. Don't go for sounding like him. Just go for gathering some inspiration and trying some things with your own voice. And seeing if you can draw some character and get rid of some of the boredom that maybe present in your own singing. I had to tell him I ain't second to none. And I told about equality. And it's true either you're wrong or you're right. But if you're thinking about my baby, it don't matter if you're black or white. I just love hearing these in-betweens like, like this. Right here. Even I mean, oh, God, God. all those rhythmic aspects that are just flowing out of him. Go to bed. Yeah. Again, that's a, that's a percussion line, right? Go to bed. Even that little sigh afterward. <laughs> yeah. So cool. Now. I love this. They, they put these in the in the background vocal stem, but hmm. I am tired of this devil. I am tired of this devil. I am tired of this bitter. Go when they go again, run. I am scared of you. 
Oh, that soulful grit. Oh, it's just beautiful. I ain't scared of you better. I ain't scared of no sheets. I ain't scared of no better. Go when you see begin me. There's so many textures and layers. Remember I was talking about how he arcs his performances, but listen to all the different voices, all the different qualities in this group of voices. I am sad of this ah, Very, very high. I am sad of this death. I am sad of this death. I am sad of this bitter. Go when the going get around. We got really clean. We have really gritty. And he's layering these to, these together to to create this this choir sound if he didn't already have so many different approaches to his voice and how he can sing all notes in all ways he wouldn't be able to do this as 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 his own choir i ain't scared of you better i ain't scared of no shit i ain't scared of no better go when you see begin me oh. cool <laughs> Oh, listen to that. Uh, I love it. Right here. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Vox drum choir. I'm going to leave the background vocals in now for a while so we can hear the blend. Don't tell me you agree with me when I saw you kicking dirt in my eye. Oh. <laughs> but if you're thinking about my baby, it don't matter if you're black or white. Listen to the improvisational nature of these. Dirt in my eye. Very free, soulful church choir. Black or white. Black or white. Now. Oh. Black or white. No. Really neat that they that he's able to be free enough even in that choir setting, which is how how one of you know a traditional church you know gospel choir would would be free. Black or white. Oh. Black or white. He's just playing. He's just playing. He doesn't care. I mean, he's, he's imitating a, a trumpet. In a bin, my baby, it don't matter if you're black or white. I said, if you're thinking of being my brother, it don't matter if you're black or white. All right, all right. Uh, 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 we got to hear these separate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Uh, ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh, ooh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All those little ad libs are just priceless. Okay, now let's go back to the lead. All right, all right. Uh, 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 all right, yeah, 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 nah. All right, all right. Uh, you can just hear. All right. Uh, na, na, na. Mm, yeah. More of what I was talking about towards the beginning. I mean, you can get a sense for him, you know, clapping, hitting this part of his head or arm or whatever, and stomping and and going crazy with his entire body as the instrument that's manifesting in some vocalizations. That's the perspective that makes this music so magical. Uh, uh, ooh, ooh, all right. Oh, clap there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah. All right. All right. Uh, Jump more. Don't. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah. Uh, uh, all right. Uh, it's black. It's white. It's stubborn you to be that. Courtesy stop. Uh, it's black. It's white. It's stubborn you to be that. It's black. It's white. Woo! It's black, 
It's white. It's stubborn. You have to be that. It's black. This section right here. Mint. Black. It's white. It's white. White. If you walk away with nothing else in terms of something you can do in your quest for improving your voice, take the pitch out because that can be challenging to sing in his area and focus on how you exit words. It's white. And do it rhythmically. It's not just, it's white. It's white. Or it's white. Or, it's white. It's white. It's white. It's white. It's white. Set a tempo with your body. It's white. It's white. I'm going to say uh, different things. Uh, so stay in rhythm. Uh, it's challenging. Uh, 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 it's like the, the kid, you know, like little kids when they stop. They like add an ending to the word. <laughs> He's doing it in a much less bratty way. And it's in intensely musical practice that be attentive to how you exit words stop it you have to be that in black it's white Woo! thanks for watching and absorbing this with me all the little nuances are so fun to pick apart and internalize again if you'd like more help with your own voice unpacking what it can really do click the link below and join my free course be sure to check out my playlist of all sorts of other Michael Jackson videos that I've done uh, recently even. There's many. We'll see you for more.